Hey, good morning. It's Mark Weiss. Today I want to talk about essentially what our victims out there, people who always feel that they are disrespected. Don't, don't turn this off now. You're going to hurt my feelings. You're being disrespectful. I read a story about a uh, woman who was on the board of a, um, a public hospital. Uh, she um, was recently called to task for supposedly being disrespectful of hospital employees, although no details were given. Uh, and uh, according to her and her uh, supporters, it's a publicly elected board, apparently, uh, the whole move was political. Maybe it was, but maybe it isn't. But what in heck is being disrespectful? Does that mean that I don't like you to tell me that I need to do my job? <laughs> You've disrespected me. Is it that you in public call me a F and a-hole? Yeah, we're probably getting a little bit closer. But what is it? The problem with mushy standards like this is that they are easy to allege, but they may, in the long run, be difficult to prove, and they may, as in this case, result in a lawsuit. Look, people are hypersensitized these days. It's almost as if everyone is a victim. It's what the evolutionary biologist Gat said calls victimology poker. So if everyone is a victim, everyone is disrespected. How do you enforce these provisions anyway? Should you even have them? Aren't they actually sort of ridiculous? One thinks that they're gaining the upper hand and controlling staff who might act inappropriate. But perhaps that's really a question of how you train your staff, how you tell them what's expected of them. But using definitions that have no definition, being disrespectful, only lead to trouble. Please your own documents. Please your own behavior. Don't, in essence, kill your business's golden goose by attempting to enforce standards that are practically unenforceable.